Hi, welcome to another episode of Med Name 3 Dr. B and today we'll be talking on musculoskeletal system but we will be working on upper limb examination. So basically, I'll be teaching us on shoulder joints, elbow joints and the wrists and hand joints. Okay, so first of all, we'll start with just a little tweak on the history taken when you come in with a musculoskeletal chief complaint. So, I'll refer you to the video on history taken for you to look at the four categories whereby we have identifying data, we have a history of present illness, history of past illness, and review of system summary and closure. But now I told you early on there that when we go into some specific systems, we actually going to be reinforcing some specific questions you need to ask based on focused examination and labs. So when it comes to the second category of history of presenting illness, whenever you're taking an history on focused on um, the musculoskeletal system, there are four important questions you need to have to aside to the Lord Alpha cast mnemonic, which is on location, onset, radiation, duration, alleviating factors, frequency, aggravating factors, character, associated symptoms, skill, and treatment. So these are the four questions you need to ask. If the patient has had any history of trauma to that specific joint, let's say, take for example now, let's say you want to talk to my patient. Okay, so what's your name? Mm -hmm. Brown. Okay, please, how would you like me to address you? Okay, so Ms. Brown, now assuming we've done added fine data with her, let's go straight to the chief complaint. What brought you in here to see me today? I have a shoulder pain in my right shoulder. Okay, so right shoulder pain. Now, the questions you need to make sure you ask on that history of presenting illness for shoulder joints now is number one, has she had any history of trauma to that shoulder joint, specific that joint? Does she have pain in any other joint? Number two. Number three, does she notice any form of money stiffness or nice stiffness in that joint? And also, number four, very important, don't forget the five cardinal signs of inflammation. So you're asking pain, which you will have already dwelled on, based on the chief complaint. Don't forget asking about swelling, redness, loss of function, and want. Okay. With that, you're good to go on that history of presenting illness when it comes to the musculoskeletal system. Now we're going to go diving into our upper limb examination where I'm going to teach us today on shoulder joints. Okay, so we're going to dive in straight into the physical examination. But one thing you must note is before you go into any form of systemic or focused examination, you need to do the general survey. Now, that will be on another tutorial and teaching. So let's dive into the physical examination straight up. Now, the first thing is, you're gonna inspect the shoulder. So I'm inspecting the shoulder anteriorly and posteriorly to see there is no form of deformity, no swelling. I'm checking for additional structures in the shoulder to see if there is no form of um, swelling of the joint capsule or bulge of the subacromial bulge. Then also, you walk your way through bone, skin, muscle. So no sign of atrophy, no sign of fasciculations, no sign of, when it comes to skin, postules, vesicles, macules, papules, plaques, echemosis, papyria, petiche, and the likes. Now, you go in depth and walk your way through your signs of inflammation too. Notice no form of swelling, redness. I thought, lift your hand up for me. Actively, by the way. Okay, put your hand down. Thank you. No sign of loss of function and no sign of pain, want. All right, then that's on inspection. Then we'll move on to palpation. So I'll be palpating first of all the sternal clavicular joints, basically looking for this clavicle and the sternal region here. And I'll move on to palpate the acromial clavicular joint also. Then move, walk my way around to greater tubercle. Then, in the bicipital group, the bicipital tendon, also palpate the muscles. Then, 
you do the special test which is your soft acromial borsa test let's do this so I use my less dominant hand just to shift my patient's hand a little bit like this and then I palpate here if there is any form of inflammation which is subacromial bursitis, patient will scream in pain and you notice the warmth or evidential redness and the other signs of inflammation. So we're going to move on to range of motions now. Please do whatever you see me do. So actively, not passively, basically. Okay, flex your shoulder. Good. Extend your shoulder. Good. Adopt. Thank you. Adopt. Thank you. Now, internally rotate. So this is internal rotation. And this is external rotation. All right. Now with that done, we will move on to the next step, which is the specific special test on shoulder joint. Okay, so now we're done with the range of motion test. We're gonna move on to the special or extra manoeuvre test for shoulder joint. Now we have three. We have number one, which is a pain provocation test, number two, which is a strain test, and number three, which is a composite test. Now, the pain provocation test, we have five of them. Number one, which is the acromial clavicular or cross body or cross over adduction test. So, watch it. Please, you do this for me. Thank you. If she has some form of pain while doing that, it's positive. So, basically, all the pain provocation tests, basically, any pain with it is positive. Okay, you can put your hand down. Number two, the rotator cuff or painful access. So I'll tell my patient to adduct your shoulder to 180 degrees. Now, why she was adducting, yeah, go on, that's 180. But around 60 to 120, she would have screamed pain. That's number two. Number three, which is the happy scratch or overall shoulder test. So, dear, you're doing two actions. Internal rotation and external rotation. Pain with them also suggests what? Positive test. Then we have two which are passive. Whether you yourself will be the one helping the patient. The first one is the near impeachment test. So watch. Here, you place one hand on the patient's scapula and you raise the hand if the patient scream pain that's also what positive then also we have the Hawkins test whereby you flex the patient's shoulder flex the patient's elbow and you place your hand like this while you do this the patient scream pain is also what positive all these pain provocation tests either signify rotator cuff tendinitis, so for adhesive capsulitis, frozen shoulder, and the likes. All right, the second one, which is a strain test, we have the drop arm test, we have the external rotation lock test, and internal rotation lock test. So for the drop arm test, you tell the patient to abduct their hand and slowly drop. Good. In a situation about the patient drops their hand quickly, it's positive for weakness of the muscle. Then for the external rotation lock test and the internal rotation, you've told the patient to, is that doing the external rotation test and they won't be able to hold it for long. Internal rotation test and they won't be able to hold it for long. So it will both signify what? Muscle weakness. Then we have the top category, which is the composite test. This test for resistance. Now what does the resistance test specifically test for? Basically pain and strength together. So we have two of them, the empty can test and the external rotation resistance test. So for the empty can test, I'll tell a patient do this, please. Kind of flex your shoulder. Now, do this for me. Now, internally rotate. Now, wherever your tongue is facing is the action you are gonna do. So for the empty can test, I'll be, my patient will try to resist me, going upwards. Now right now we're going downwards. Good. This test is specific for the supraspinatus. So that's the empty content. The second one is the external rotation resistance test. Now, watch this. Please do this. So, in the first one, you notice that the elbow joint was extended. Now it's going to be flexed. 
Now put your hand this way, but externally rotate. Thank you. Now I'm going to be going upwards and she'll be resisting me going downwards. Are you ready? Let's go. Good. <laughs> and with that, that's perfect. We're done with the two composite tests. So we're done with the shoulder joint examination. Now if you love this video, watch out for our teachings on the helper joints, the wrist joints and hand joints. Please know your notification bell so as you'll be notified about our videos. All right, thank you for watching. Hi, good afternoon, what's your name? My name is Sarah Stone. Okay. No, your name is not Sarah Stone, okay, rubbish. I'm sorry. Continue. I'll start for what's your name. Mm. Is that the Jolie?